Worship builds an atmosphere. Worship builds a habitation for God to move into. When you bring worship back into your walk, you bring God back because you, you, you are building him a tent to dwell in. So he said to Moses, build me a habitation wherein I may dwell. Well, you do it by worship. And worship is the result of revelation. You cannot worship God till you know God. And remember something about worship. It begins really with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, we enter his gates with thanksgiving, Psalm 100. We come into his courts with praise. But never forget what I said earlier. We thank him for his goodness. Therefore, his goodness is what I can see. What I know he has done for me is his goodness. For that I thank him. In all things I give thanks. But that's because of the goodness of the Lord that he has shown me. How he's forgiven me, taking care of me, loved me, taking care of my family, answered my prayer. I thank you for that. But now I praise him. Why? I praise him for his greatness. That allows me to the court. All thanksgiving does is opens the gates to so I can walk in. But praise gets me into the, the court and I stand before the holy place. But only worship allows me into the holy of holies. But I cannot worship without revelation because you cannot worship till you know he's holy. So I thank him for his goodness. I praise him for his greatness. I worship him for his holiness. But holiness demands that I know him. And holiness is the totality of his being. When we say you're holy, we're saying you're gracious merciful, long-suffering, and patient, and kind of loving. His holiness is the totality of who he is. That's why the angels cry, holy, holy, holy. They don't, they don't cry, gracious, gracious, gracious. They don't cry, merciful. Mer no, they, all, all they cry is holy. Why? Because in that word is the totality of everything God is. Worship then is, is the result of revelation. You have to know him to worship him. So when you get to know Jesus, everything in you explodes. Well, how do you know him? Spend time with him. That's the first key. The second key becomes natural now. As normal, as, 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 as loving your, 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 your spouse or your children or your family. Because now you know them and you see their heart and everything in you explodes in loving them. Oh, I'll never forget when I got to know my lady. She was maybe three, four years old. And one day I was about to spank her. And she looks at me with tears in, in her eyes. She says, not you, daddy. You're too sweet to spank me. Melts me right away. And all I could do is hug her and hold her. And I didn't want to let her go. Why? Because I got to know my baby. I'm sitting in Greece with Willie and, and Henry and little precious lady begins to talk and all this wisdom comes out of her and Willie says, where'd she come from? I don't know her. I said, that's Lily. Lily is very deep, very, very sweet and deep. She's very poetic, very, very uh, into music and worship. And but So when you get to know your child, everything in you wants to... Whoo. Why? Because you know her. Well, it's the same thing the, the other, you know, the other way around. When your kids get to know you, oh, my daddy is the best daddy. Why? Because they know daddy. And, you know, my, my, like my, my mom, you know, the, the, the longer I've known my mom, the more I love my mom. I've always loved my mother. But, man, when you get to know your mother, whew, everything explodes in you. That's my mama. Because everything about mom is perfect. Because you see it as you grow up and you see it as you get older. Well, same with God. Get to know him. And when you get to know him, you got to be alone. Remember, you cannot know him rushing in, rushing out. Alone. I think many of you don't know your, you don't know your mother, you don't know your dad, because you never hardly ever talk to them. I talk to my mom every single night. 7.30, I call. She won't even sleep before I call her. Monday nights, I call her at 6.30. And we talk about everything. I sing to her. I sang on Mother's Day. Every Mother's Day, I sing to my mom. 
and I sing a great song in Arabic that he'll recognize. Ya sit al habayb ya habiba ya aghla min ruh wa dam. You know what that means? It means the most gracious of all ladies. You are more precious to me than my soul and my blood. Boy, she starts crying. You know, it's precious. Well, you you get to know your mom, and and my mom sings back to me too at times when she feels like it. And if I can say it, I worship my mother. I don't. Not like God, you know. You know what I mean by worship. I love her so dearly because she is so sacred.